Hey, thanks for tuning back in, and we're going to talk about open houses and how you can crush it to get more deals. Here are five hacks on how you can crush it in a real estate market with open houses. First, let's make sure that the house is actually on MLS. This thing's really elementary, but believe it or not, an agent will go to the open house, be there, put the signs up, do all that hard work, and forget to put it in MLS. Also, let's put it back a good week or so, get time for our things like Zillow and Trulia and Realtor.com, so all of those can have the time to publish that and be online. We want to move on to our next topic here, and topic number two on how to crush it in our open houses is we need to really get some good ads for this. So if you have some apps, or maybe you have a coordinator or something like that, but definitely an open house ad. Now, let me tell you what it looks like first. It's gonna be your basic Facebook ad, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put it in the, out there on Facebook. You share it to all these local pages and groups that you're in. You're gonna share it, share it, share it, share it. Now, hopefully, you actually have a website that links back to it, and you can put that link in there. When it goes to that website, you're capturing their name and their phone numbers, so you can move them over into your actual database people that you're marketing to. So you're getting the leads before it even gets to open house time that you're actually getting some of those leads. For something about 50 bucks, you can probably hit a good audience, depending on where you're at. Now obviously if you're in Austin, you're gonna have a much bigger audience than if you have uh, maybe something out there in, uh, in Abilene, Texas out there in West. So again, population is gonna play to this and how big of a sphere and where you're talking. But 50 bucks can go a long way with sponsoring that ad for what you're doing for your open house. So now we're on to our Third thing here, something that you can do, it's only gonna cost about 80 bucks or in that range, maybe up to $100, is those beautiful little signs that people are putting in their front yard. I'm not talking about your standard open house sign, little square box ones. I'm talking about the ones when there's been a baby born and it says, oh, it's a boy. And it's all these big letters are all about two feet tall and each letter has been staked out. Do that with an open house because no one does it. And now you look amazing. We did that and we started getting phone calls. We started on a Thursday, the open house was on Saturday. And we got phone calls starting on Thursday because of the open house sign. Because when you drive normally, just, oh yeah, there's a sign, oh, there's a sign. It's another realtor sign, it's another for sale sign. But when you got these cool letters, like, oh, what's that say? They're actually stopping and looking and noticing that house. And now it's a lot more activity, a lot more traction. We see a huge difference for the $80 and it's worth it. So our fourth hack on how we're going to crush it with open houses is obviously we're going to have to have some good signage and directing people how they're going to get there. Not just right here on this block, but we're going to go out a ways. You want to get all of this probably about the hour before. But in talking about your signs, something I just love having, I know we've already talked about these little big letters, I love having flags. I'm talking about the 12 foot flag, it takes about two seconds to put together. It goes up high in the sky and the wind makes it move because it's tracking their eyes and people's attention moves to, to motion. And I can tell you that we just had a listing with side by side, two houses on the market. Theirs has been on the market for probably about 60 to 70 days. Ours has been in the market for 10 days and we sold it and we had an open house that first weekend and it's gone. So you can tell there's a little bit of an advantage there if you can market yourself and do it good, like do it intentionally. So our fifth and final hack that we have for you on how you're going to crush it with your open houses is let's market to that neighborhood. Now obviously you don't think that the neighbor is going to come over and buy the house, but the neighbor has a friend that might be looking for a house. And the neighbor might know someone that's in the area, whatever that may be. Be mindful too of this house. Is this, is this house a good house even? Because you need to really think, is this house worth having an open house at? If it's overpriced, forget it. Okay, you'll do that kind of stuff to maybe appease the seller a little bit, but it's not going to be a good open house area if we're not getting any activity because it's way overpriced. Or maybe the house isn't clean or has a bad smell or whatever that is. Those are not the places that we really want in our open houses. We want something that has good traction and good activity. Maybe it's close to a highway or close to some major thoroughfare where we can market to get people off the road. Maybe it's just priced so aggressively that that price by itself is going to bring buyers. All right. I hope this is some useful information to you guys and you get a lot of use out of this. You do these open houses, you crush it, you get all kinds of, of buyers and sellers. 
But remember to subscribe to the channel. Click the bell on there so you'll get the notifications whenever we have more videos coming out and give you more hints on how you can crush it in the real estate market.